is a five passenger vehicle. A packed car dealership in New York. One more sign that the government's new cash for clunkers program is still moving at top speed. If it wasn't for this program, I'd probably wait longer, maybe get a used car, something like that. Brian Benstock is the general manager of Paragon Honda. He says he sold nearly a thousand cars in the last 30 days. Our new car business has nearly doubled, so it's been an outstanding success. But because of increased demand, the dealership is now running out of cars to sell, especially top gas savers. Have you guys sold out of hybrid cars? We are completely sold out of the hybrid cars. The good news is we do have some coming in for the end of the month, but those cars are completely sold out. From Pennsylvania to Idaho, dealers say inventory is running low. This New York dealership even had to close this weekend because it ran out of cars. It doesn't surprise me at all that they're running out of cars. Running out of cars is potentially one issue, but these dealers are selling cars on faith, hoping to get money back on cars that have already left the lot. This weekend, the dealership has sold 50 cars so far. Under the program, if they all meet just the minimum clunker rebate of $3,500, Brian is expected to be reimbursed $175,000 through the plan. Well, it certainly have an impact on profitability. I mean, we're, we're counting on that money coming in. But he hasn't seen a penny from the government from one car they've sold. And if the delay is a long one, that could prevent him from ordering more inventory. You have to have faith in the government. I mean, if we don't have the government, what do we have? But while these problems are a big worry, dealers like Benstock say compared to sales before the clunker program, this is putting people back to work. Running out of cars isn't such a bad problem to have. Terrell Brown, CBS News, New York.